Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to it if you are new here. I'm very happy to have you join in and be a part of my little corner on YouTube. Today I am going to be doing a first impression video of a couple of new drugstore products. And I do apologize, there is some construction going on outside. You might be able to hear it, but I'm just gonna crack on anyway because I really wanted to film this video for you guys today. So first thing, sorry, dropping it there. First thing I have is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Shell Ivory. I am pretty pale, so hopefully this will be a good match for me, but I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. And then after that, I have a, a bit of like a follow-up, I guess, to my other drugstore first impressions video. Uh, I really hated the mascara that I tried because my lashes really need a waterproof formula to help it hold the curl, so I went and picked up the waterproof version of the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. So without any further ado, because I am on a bit of a time crunch, I want to get going while there's no noise outside and before my battery dies, because it is pretty low. I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in with the Wet n Wild foundation and let's get started. All right, so now that you are all zoomed in and you can get a better picture of my face, it is actually a real pretty good day for me to be testing out this foundation because I do have some breakouts. So we're going to be able to see how well it covers everything. I don't know about this color. We'll see. One of the complaints I've heard about it is that it tends to smell like paint and I can definitely confirm that it does smell like straight up wall paint, but I can get past that as long as it doesn't break me out like crazy. So we're gonna see. Oh, and I'm using my uh, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend it in. I'm not gonna do brush half side sponge half of my face because I just prefer using a sponge anyway. So I'm just gonna use it that way because it's what I would normally do and I get to see how it performs. Gosh, it's a noisy day in Hollywood today. Okay, so it's a little pale for me, but I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I actually like that finish a lot. <laughs> and now a car goes by, playing some loud music. Just my luck. How are your marches going so far? Marches, I mean the month of March. How's the month of March treating you so far? I'm actually really happy with how well that covered my breakouts. So sorry about that, guys. If things look a little bit different, the lighting is a little bit different one way or another is because my battery did end up dying so I had to charge it for a little bit and reset. I had some foundation left over on my forehead that I didn't blend in yet and because I was going to be sitting for like 15 minutes I didn't want it to set or oxidize or do anything funky before I blended it in so I went ahead and did that and uh, I have to say so far I'm actually impressed with the coverage. It's set down pretty matte and I haven't touched my face yet. Ooh, it's very matte. It's not even like powdery, it just really did a good job of setting on the skin. I am going to go ahead in with a second layer and see how it all blends in. So yeah, the more I'm looking at it in the viewfinder in particular, the more I think it's too pink and a tiny bit too pale. But I do prefer it to be a little bit on the paler side instead of too dark. It's easier to bronze. Now that I'm looking at it in the mirror with the second layer, it's starting to look a little cakey. A little separating on my chin here. Okay, so then I'm going to put on my concealer and I'm going to powder half of my face to see how it, you know, one side compares to the other. I don't really need too much concealer under my eyes for this, but I'm going to use my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair. It's the lightest shade. I'm also going to put a little bit on top of my blemishes. Alrighty, the concealer layered pretty well on top of it. From far away, it looks nice. Again, it is a little bit too light and a little bit too pink for me. You can see compared to the rest of my skin there. But I would definitely consider picking up the next darkest shade, considering this is only like a $4.99 foundation. Let's see, it's set down really nicely. I'm touching my face, but it's, you know, it's definitely not transfer proof. It's coming off a little, um, and it feels a little sticky, but it's not, too bad and it definitely feels like it's on its way to really really setting into my skin and kind of locking in which is nice. Now for powder I'm using my trusty Rimmel Stay Matte in Translucent. This is my go-to everyday powder and I'm only going to powder half of my face. Let's see I think I'm going to powder the, the half that has the blemishes on it. I'm using my little Tarte Kabuki brush. Not making it look any more dry or any more cakey. 
So to save a bit of time here, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face, save for mascara, and then I'll be right back with uh, the mascara that I'm going to be trying. Okay, y'all, I am back, and I am going to try and get this mascara portion done ASAP because the construction is really picking up downstairs. So first, I'm going to curl my lash with my Charlotte Tilbury Eyelash Curlers. This is a must for me. The same wand as before, so if you want a more in-depth kind of first impression of it, go check that out, but... First impression of this one though is it looks a lot drier than the other one did. So that's a plus and not as much came out on the brush when I pulled it out of the tube. All right, y'all, that is just one coat and now I see what the hype is about. I feel like if I had just tried this one first off instead of trying the non-waterproof version, I would have liked it a lot more. Obviously we're gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day and if it holds a curl at all. It's not making my lashes fall which is a massive step in the right direction. So this is just the first coat. It's very natural, very fluffy. I do like it. See the difference between my two eyes here. This one looks a little bit more open and you can definitely see the lashes. This one doesn't have as strong of a coconut smell. It kind of just smells sweet. It's giving me good volume. I do like a little bit more length though. So, you know, this isn't like a, it's not blowing me away at all, but I do like it. Um, and it looks very natural. This would be great for like a job interview. Um, you know, if you're interviewing for just your typical office job, this would be really nice. Or just every day. It's nice for just every day. I like this. I do really like it. It's giving me good volume. It's not too clumpy. Now I see why people liked the other version a lot because it gives you very nice natural kind of volumized lashes. It's good. It's a good, good solid mascara. I see the hype now because I get it. The non-waterproof version was crap for me. <laughs> I just need a waterproof formula. I find them to be a little bit drier. My lashes like that a little bit more. And this is already holding the curl infinitely longer <laughs> than the other one did because as soon as I put the other one on, my lashes went like this. Wah. Now that I have my full face of makeup on, I'm gonna go about my day. I have some errands to run and I will check in with you guys in a little bit to see how the foundation has worn so far. Hey again, so I've just stopped back at home real quick to drop off some stuff. I was just at the bank and running some other errands and I still have to go grocery shopping, but since I was changing my name at the bank, I wanted to drop off my social security card and my uh, the marriage license just because I don't wanna lose it. I don't wanna leave it out of the house any longer than I have to. So I thought I would do a little check-in on the foundation. So far, so good. I've been wearing it for about, uh, about four, no, about five hours now. I've had it on since about 1230. And uh, I'm actually really, really liking it so far. I still think it's a little bit too pale for me. I could probably go up one shade uh, and get away from the pinky tone a little bit. I think I could go for a little bit more of a neutral um, undertone, but for a first try, I don't think it's too bad. I, let's see about the finish. I'm, it still feels pretty good. I don't feel too oily. On the side that has the powder side that doesn't. I'd say they're about the same in terms of how oily they are. I do have oily skin so it really just can't be helped. There's nothing that I've found or that I've tried that has like completely controlled my oil production so hasn't really worn off too much. Let's get a little a little more up close and personal here. Uh, you can see it's a little dry still in here, but I do have some dry patches. This is one thing though that I'm not crazy about when you look at it up close. I have these, um, I think they're called marionette lines. You can see this one a little bit better on around my mouth and over here, it's really settling in to the lines there. But other than that, the bronzer is still there. The highlight is looking really good, look at pretty. Oh, you can see the highlight even better over here. Look at that, it's so nice. Um, and overall, it's it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm curious to see how it wears over the next few hours. But anyway, I'm off to Trader Joe's now, and I will try to check in with you guys really soon. 
Hello, hello, time for my final check-in. Sorry if there's a bit of an echo. I'm actually standing in my little bathroom area. Oops, sorry about that. This was the best lighting that I could find right now. It gets pretty dark in my apartment at night when the sun has gone down, so I had to improvise a little bit. But I realized that earlier before, when I was talking about the foundation, I didn't talk about the mascara, so I'll start with that now. Um, it is holding up pretty good. It's a solid, it's a solid mascara. It's not exceptional. It's not bad. It's definitely something that I will continue to reach for and use up. Um, so now onto the foundation. I am actually pleasantly surprised by how well it has held up. I am oily, but that is a given. With any foundation, my oil always breaks through. It's kind of just a matter of how much it has broken through. So this one has actually held up pretty well. You can see I'm definitely shiny. That's that's my highlight, but I'm definitely shiny on my forehead and, and on my cheeks. And then if you come into my chin area here, it has worn off quite a bit, but I did eat, did have a Chipotle beet burrito for dinner, so that was gonna rub off regardless of, of what I was wearing. But for the most part, it has, it's, I can still see it on my skin. It looks really good on camera and it looks good in person from you know, I don't know four feet three and a half four feet away from the mirror um that being said I am starting to see this is a new breakout this little bump right here is this one new no I had that one this morning so I have this new one and then I don't know how much you can see but I have some other little bumps that I see peeking through that are kind of like these like really light you see one right here that's new one down here that's new here oh you can see right here that area right there those are all new breakouts <laughs> so this foundation despite how much I like it it is breaking me out a little bit so I don't think I'm gonna be using it on a regular basis which is a shame because if it hadn't broken me out I would have definitely reached for this you know when I had like a meeting that I wanted to go to but I didn't want to use like one of my fancy expensive foundations this is a really great alternative for you know higher end foundations I feel like it gives a finish very similar to the Armani Luminous Silk at least on me but unlike the Armani Luminous Silk this breaks me out the other one doesn't so this is gonna have to be a no for me and I'm really disappointed to say that because it's such a beautiful foundation it's really a great drugstore alternative for the higher end foundations and it's the first one that I've really found at the drugstore that I would say that about and that I really enjoyed using so I'm a little bit bummed but uh, you know the health of my skin is obviously more important than the foundation that I use so I don't know, I'm not gonna buy, you know, I was saying earlier that the shade was a little bit light for me, I felt, but you know, since seeing this breakout, I've, I'm definitely not gonna be buying the next shade up, even though it is only a $4.99 foundation. Um, yeah, that's really pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.